Good afternoon. Catalonia's former education minister says attempts to extradite her from Scotland back to Spain are an attack on democracy. Clara Pinsetti returned to her post as an academic at St Andrews University after the Catalan independence vote last year. Her lawyer has confirmed she will hand herself into police later this week after a European arrest warrant was issued for her. An oil and gas engineer has been jailed for seven years for raping an 18-year-old in a flat in Aberdeen. Kufri UM detained the teenage girl at his flat before the attack took place. The 34-year-old was also convicted of intent to rape a second woman at the High Court in Glasgow. The attacks took place between 2012 and 2016 at separate properties in the city. Construction has begun on a major wind farm development opposed by Donald Trump off the coast of Aberdeen. A 25,000 tonne floating crane has successfully installed the foundations for the European Wind Deployment Centre. It's claimed the development will be home to the world's most powerful turbines. First bus drivers in Aberdeen have started a week-long strike in a dispute over changes to their pay and conditions. It follows on from four one-day strikes that have already taken place, with Unite the Union saying drivers would lose money under the new proposals. But First Bus say they've offered better terms during recent talks. We've made substantial improvements uh, from on the original contract. Um, we're looking to try and find a resolution here. We're open for, for, for meeting. Uh, again, as I come back to, we've made significant concessions there, which we feel could bring an end to the dispute. Plans have been announced to create a new centre to tackle the challenges of decommissioning in the North Sea oil and gas industry. Over the next decade, 100 platforms and thousands of miles of pipeline will have to be scrapped, with costs estimated to hit almost £60 billion by 2050. The decommissioning centre of excellence is a groundbreaking multi-million pound investment between the oil and gas technology centre and the University of Aberdeen bringing together the industry and the brightest academic minds to focus on fixing some of the key issues that we have in decommissioning, developing technologies, deploying them in the North Sea and then exporting them globally. Now here's Sean with the latest weather forecast. sponsors STV Weather. Good afternoon, what a lovely day it is out there at the moment. Plenty of blue skies for many of us and with light winds feeling pleasant in the sunshine. Temperatures reaching highs of 10 degrees around Inverness and also along the Murray Coast, maybe even 11 or 12 in the odd spot. A few scattered showers across the north of Nelson, pretty chilly across Shetton. Temperatures about 4 or 5 degrees Celsius. Now, during tonight, rain will spread in from the southwest, and some of that will be on the heavy side, and it will follow snow over the Grampians, about around 400 metres, potentially coming down to about 300 at times. Temperatures tonight about 2 to 5 degrees Celsius. For many of us, it will be a cloudy and damp day, but across Shetland, after we clear away morning showers, plenty of dry and fine weather. Tui sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Norman is back with the STV News at 6. But for now, from all of us here on the Lunchtime team, have a very good afternoon. Bye-bye.